What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Unite. And ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're going to be showcasing off the Solar Beam build for Venusaur. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Shout out to everybody who supports me as a content creator. Also, I was looking at my analytics and about 50% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So chances are, that might be one of you guys. So if that's one of you guys, scroll down a little bit and join the community by clicking that big red subscribe button. But uh, we're just going to be hopping into some matches here. I don't feel like having like a big intro or anything showcasing like the build for him. I feel like I could just showcase it off in the, uh, the battle screen, like the beginning of the battle. So let's just get right after this one. Show Showcase Solar Beam Venusaur in some Unite matches and rock out with him. We are going to be doing standard matches because when playing ranked battles, I like to use Pokemon that I'm fairly comfortable with. So I don't feel like hopping over there and playing with Pokemon that I'm not comfortable with and screwing up people who are trying to push high rank. So that is my thought process behind it because it would frustrate me if someone else was doing that. So I don't want to do that to other people. But hey, we got into a match pretty quick here. Let me see if I can get Venusaur here, which I did. Let's get it. Let's see if they'll let me get Central Lean. Let's see if they'll let me get Central Lean. I'll click on it. But these are the items that we use for Venusaur. We use the Buddy Barrier, we use the Focus Band, and we use the Muscle Band. And then the moveset, like I said, we're going to be rocking the Solar Beam moveset, which is Sludge Bomb alongside with Solar Beam. And Solar Beam can be very, very strong. And it's actually now a lot better ever since uh, they nerfed Giga Drain and Petal Dance. Solar Beam has seen has been seeing the light a lot more. And I think it is a very good move. I still think Venusaur is top tier. I think he's very, very good in this game. And I think Solar Beam is very, very viable nowadays. Plus, alongside with Sludge Bomb, Sludge Bomb is super, super good for getting last hits on wild Pokemon or Pokemon such as Rotom, Zapdos, and Dreadmill. You just throw that Sludge Bomb on there, and it does continuous damage over time. But, yo, our team's looking really good, actually. Me in the jungle with a Venusaur, Cinderace, and Sylveon hopefully going into that top lane, and Snorlax and Lucario in that bot lane. Yo, that's looking fire. That is looking real good, but guys, before we hop into our first match for today's video, let me know for question of the day down in the comment section down below. What Pokemon do you think is the best in this game, and what Pokemon do you think is the worst? Personally, I think Venusaur, Lucario, and Elder Gauls are the top three in this game. I don't think there's really like one that's superior over the other, because they're all three so different. One's a ranged attacker, one's a melee attacker, and one's a support mod. And then I feel like... Or worse, I think Gardevoir's up there, but Gardevoir can be really good. They did they did really good on like balancing these Pokemon out, but still there's obviously some Pokemon that are worse than other. And I would say like Gardevoir's up there. Um, who else would I say is up there? I don't think Freedance all that good or Mamoswine, so I think I would throw all of them up in that category. But let's get started into our first battle. Hopefully we can get off to a strong start here. Let's grab ourselves this Razor Leaf, and I am going to eject button through this wall here. Let's get after it. Let me Razor Leaf on the U pup. Come here. Come here, let me tell you something. They go hit him. And yo, what the heck is that? I thought it was another wild enemy. I was like, yo, they add wild enemies here. I was going to be super upset. And we just have a score bunny just walking around here. Kind of annoying. Not even going to lie. Kind of annoying, yo. But it looks like I'm going to have to help out that bottom lane if that score bunny's going up there. What you get for playing standard matches sometimes. Get some people who are just like running around. I'm just going to whip up on these guys. And I am going to try to take out that top core fish first. And then roll to that bottom lane with that EV. Because we have three up in that top lane. There's no really need for me to pop over there. And get after it. So let's just chill here. Drop this here and whip up on this dude. Get him out of here. Eevee, I'm coming. Don't worry, Eevee. Daddy Jeans is coming. Daddy Jeans is coming. And I'm going to be level 5 when I come to you. Whip up on you and we're going to get rolling here. Let's get it. We already got Sludge Bomb. Let's get after this one. There is the Charmander. I know he doesn't want to smoke, so I'm going to push him back with that. And then with a little bit of a Sludge Bomb. And we're going to roll. We're going to roll. Hello, Eevee. And Eevee's already level 4, which is great, which is just dandy. And I'm going to see if I can take this. That was actually a horrible sludge bomb. That was honestly a horrible sludge bomb. Our EV or our Sylveon is going to score here. I am going to throw this under that tower. And do I push him? Do I push him? No, we're going to push these bees. These bees are very important right now. Let's take out all these bees. Get all this XP rolling here. Just so they don't get it. And then we can roll off from there. Did I kill that thing? And we go, what you want, Charmander? Where you at, fool? Where you at, fool? Come here. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Get out of my game. Let me see if I can score my points. 27. Can I score 27? Yes, sir. Yo, that's a great start. Even though we're not getting any kills, great start for us. We're going to take out their wild enemies, and we're going to roll out. And why are they all in this top lane now? I guess I'm going to go head back to, back to the central and roll from there. That's my plan. Get these fools out of here. Keep this thing in the sludge bomb, and we're going to rip on it. All right. I'll be over in a second, Lucario. We already got Solar Beam. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. That's what we get for playing a great little bot lane there. Getting some XP, and now we're rolling out strong. And then, Oh, the score bunny's on the other team. Son of a biscuit, come here. Let me check button through. Get out of my game. Get out of my game. Get out of my game. <laughs> that score bunny's just chilling on the other team. I was like, yo, I thought that was our score bunny. Because we still do have a score bunny, which is kind of annoying. Oh, I wasted a solar beam. I wasted a solar beam. I could head over to that top lane, but I don't think that's a play right now. 
I just think going back here and collecting all these wild enemies is the play. And then we will get right back after the killing and the attacking. I kill you. Thank you very much. Lord we move on to you. And we rock it out here. Keep on ripping. I am actually not going to head to that top lane. I think bottom lane is going to be the play and try to get Dreadnought. I'm going to let everybody know that you know, is going to that bot lane. Keep sending these moves and keep ripping at Andrew. Lucario's doing just fine up there. I'm going to head over there where it's a score bunny and you know, Lucario's ripping. And I'm just stacking up my levels. I'm just stacking up my levels. There's level 8. And one more wild enemy, we can get level 10. Well, not level 10. We can get level uh level 9, which will give us the... Oh, why is Solar Beam over there? I meant to just mash it. But one more level, we get Venusaur, which will be on this kill. And there we go. We chill in Venusaur. We have our ult. I'm going to drop this on you. See if I can steal that from you. If I do not, I'm just going to keep teeing off onto this guy. And rolling out from here. Yo, score bunny. Get over here. Sinners, get over here. I'm whipping up on this thing. I need some help. If they come over here and steal it, I'm going to cry a little bit. Solar Beam onto this thing. And I get this thing on my own. He is regenerating, which is kind of annoying. But we should be able to get it. Look at him. He's already back up to half health. And no one's helping me out here. No one's even, like, contesting me. Let's keep ripping here. Let's just keep ripping here. All right, there we go. Get that. And now let's roll out. Now I kind of just want to play for kills. I kind of just want to play for kills. I'm going to head to that top lane. Let everybody know Daddy Jean's coming up there. I'm going to smoke you and then do that. So I can get level 10 with that. Get you up with that. And then let's roll. Let's roll. I do have my ult and I think I'm boosted. So I should be able to roll in here. Snipe a few fools and get after this way. Where are these guys at? There's this Curlia here. Of course I miss her. I'm going to keep teeing off on her. I do have my eject button if I really want to use it, but I should be fine. Yep, there's one. Drop this. Solar beam on you. I could ult if I want to, which I might have to do. I don't know. Should I? Let's see. I should be fine. There you go. There's a double kill. I'm going to go score real quick. Then I'm going to push their Venusaur. Let's go. I was going to ult, but it wasn't the play. It was not the play. There's a 40-point score. Let's take out the bees now. Whip up on these guys and keep getting my levels up. <laughs> four score, buddy, man. This guy, four score buddies. This is his first time playing, man. Get over here, boy. I ain't playing around. You know, they really, they really let this Venusaur roll, in, roll into them. Come here. Let me show you who the better Venusaur is. Come here, boy. Where you at, baby? Come here, Venusaur. Hit you with that solar beam. I'm coming after you, baby. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? You in my zone. You in my zone. But, yo, you see how much damage that what's called does? That solar beam does? It just chunks them down. It just chunks them down. Here's this Charizard here. Let's snipe him. Hey! Hey! I have to ult. I have to ult. In order to survive here, we have to ult and eject button out of here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die anyway, but it's fine. It happens. Dude, that was out of nowhere. I went to go for the solar beam. Next thing I know, yo, he's doing loop de loop, slamming me on the ground. But yo, we thriving right now. 5 0. 5 0 with zero assist. Not too bad. Getting some kills. Uh, I'm gonna head to the bottom lane. We are dominating this battle. But yo, solar power Charizard, ripping. Not Charizard. Why did I say solar power Charizard? I'm so I'm so used to the new season of uh, Silver and Shield using solar power Charizard. But yo, come here. Come here. Let me snipe you real quick. Get that damage, dude. Get him out of here. That damage is ridiculous. I'm going to head this bot lane. I'm going to let my squad know. I'm going to let my squad know. You just head to that bot lane. Yo, I'm coming. Coming in hot. Where are these dudes at? Here's this guy. Sniping. Boss this over there. There we go. Beautiful. Did I get two assists there? Yep, two assists. And yo, we got this guy just chilling here. Let me get this fool out of here. Him with a solar beam. Bop. And he's just standing in my in my gunk. Get him out of here. Dude, I'm just one of them. Come on, yo. I'm teeing off doing all the damage. And you get the kill. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Let me score these 10 points. And I'm gonna go roll over for some more kills. That's what I'm about. I'm about kills and kills only here. <laughs> just gonna say, see you later, Ludi Colo. Hey yo, that corefish punched on me. Where are these guys at? It'll all just be chilling here. Come here. Let me solar beam up on you. Let me solar beam up on you. Oh, yo, he gets his ult again, man. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Yo, leave me alone. Dead. See if I can hit the hop here. Oh, I'm out of here. No way I survive. Run, Venusaur. Run. Did I launch this onto him? Son of a biscuit. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Get out of my face with that one. Get out of my face with that one. The only times we've been dying is when this Charizard gets his ult. He gets it so often. Especially when they're using energy amplifier. Mm. Probably using it, dude. Because I just got picked up by him. And then I get dropped again. Get out of my face. But let's head to the central lane. Start getting our levels up. And then I'll head over to this uh this area over here. This top lane. Because they are pushing up with the Rotom. But I do want to help out the squad. I do want to help out the, the squad here. Let's get level 13. By doing that and charge it. You don't have your ult anymore. I want you to do me a favor and get out of my game. But look at that damage, yo. That damage is huge. Charizard, get out of here. We don't want to deal with you anymore. Get him out of here. 
All I'm doing is getting assists right now. Don't like it one bit. Hop over to the central. And I think there should be bees over here. I think there should be bees. Drenal did spawn down there, but no one's really going after him, so I'm not really too worried. Let's start teeing off on these bees, get some levels up. Look at this solar beam right here. Look at all that damage. That lovely damage, yo. Killing all these wild enemies. Give it all to me. There's a Gardevoir over here who I really just want to go kill. Where you at, Gardevoir? Oh, nope. Our, Luke, our Cinderace did it. I'm going to hop to the central lane. Let's head over here, boys. Let's head over here. Zapdos is our one worry. And the best thing about Venusaur is I can, like, control a lane right here just with that Sludge Bomb. That's really, really big. And there is a Venusaur down here. Oh, there's multiple people down here. They have my ult. And send that there. I'm gonna send this over here. I'm just keep teeing off on these guys. Send this in there. And of course, they're scoring points here. E, I might have to ult on these guys. I might have to ult here. If I am going to ult. Awesome. Drop this. And let's just solar beam down this lane. I get a little bit of help here. I get a little bit of help here. Or do I got this one on my own? Looks like I got this one on my own. That's all we need. That's all we need. Keep teeing off on him. Let's throw a sludge bomb over there. And he's only. Whoa. He was only level 10, yo. That's some damage, baby. That's how it's done. Look at that. Controlling the battle, getting some kills. And I'm going to try to get rid of this Shrednall here. Or not the Shrednall, the Zapdos. But I'm going to play right here. Just in case they want to come through here. Which they are going to start going to. I'm going to toss that there. Just so that Venusaur doesn't want to push through. And I'm just going to finish off these kills here. Did I get that? Did we get that? We did indeed. We did indeed. So let me toss this this way. And I can just eject button out so I'm not slowed down. Let's roll. That's GG's. That is gonna be GG's. We get the Venus for kill. Or well, not the Venus for kill. This Zapdos kill. Hey, wait a minute. Chill on me, man. Drop you over there. Oh, Lucario over there. I wasn't dealing with it. I wasn't dealing with it. But let me score these 50 points. Pretty much solidify this battle. And not a bad battle for us. If I can snipe this guard board. She wants to smoke. Bop. <laughs> yo, dude, sniper Venus or yo, I just stole that kill from across the map. From across the map. Are you guys pushing our tower? I can definitely see it happening. So I'm gonna return to base. See what the problem is. Are they pushing our tower? I feel like they are. What a goal. I feel like they are, even though we have this win in the bag. So I'm going to just chill here, play some defense. I think we should be fine. We, oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Yo, chill on me. Want, want smoke, Venusaur? I'm the better Venusaur. Get out my face. I feel like they're coming over here. I just haven't seen them yet. I'm full level, so there's no point in killing wild enemies. But yo, what a match by us. Nine and six. Doing the work. Getting some cool kills with sniper build. Come here, Charizard. Oh, we missed you. Come here. Come here, let me Two, tell you something. One. Let me tell you something. He's gonna pick me up, isn't he? Sniper. Time's Bang. Dude, dude, that does so much damage. That's just so much damage. Look at that win. Absolutely crushed that battle. 719 to 331 and got the show off. Solar Beam Venusaur to its fullest potential. We're gonna hop into our second battle now. Try to get rolling with that one. But yo, look at our team. Look at our team. 96. Your boy's MVP. Of course he is. Of course he is. We always dominate. But like I said, we're gonna hop into our second battle and showcase Solar Beam Venusaur yet again. We locked in Venusaur yet again, and we are going to go to the central lane yet again. I called it out once I got him, and then this guy picked Zavora, and then I was just like, then I switched back to top lane. I was like, if you're Zavora, you can have it. And then he was just like, okay, I'll go top lane. And then that's fine by me, yo. I love playing Venusaur in the jungle, but hopefully we can have a better better battle here in battle number two. Considering that first battle was good, we got to show off the, uh, the solar beam and everything, but it, there were some like people who weren't playing right, like... No one was really going after Dreadnought, all, all that good stuff. So hopefully we can have like a normal battle and just showcase Venusaur a little bit more here. But our team's looking very strong. Very physical attacking. Very, very offensive here. We got the Zavora, we got the Venusaur, we got the Grand Ninja. They're all attackers besides Charizard, and Charizard's all around her. They do have a speedster, they have an attacker. They're kind of a little bit more versatile there, but I think we should just be an offensive powerhouse team and just run through these guys. Because <laughs> they don't really have too much support. I mean, they do have Pikachu who can stun. Talonflame is very, very good. Very, very good. Definitely after its buffs, definitely bumped him up to like A tier. Maybe, I, I wouldn't call him S tier, but he's up there. He is super, super good. Like his drop move where he flies in the sky and just like comes down. Phenomenal. Super, super good. Gets him out of sticky situations. Does a lot of damage as well. It's just great all around. But everyone's heading to a good position here. So we're just going to tee off on this thing. Get this little pup out of the game. And we're going to roll out here. So, positioning is looking good for our team. Hopefully, we can have a good battle here. Because in the last one, it was just like, we start off and it was just like, yo, Score Bunny, what are you doing? And Score Bunny was running around. Let's go here. I keep whipping up over here. Beautiful. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. But I love having Venusaur because we can kind of just like float around these walls here. Or any ranged attacker in that, in that saying. We can kind of just float around the walls and go over from here. I'm going to head to that top lane. I'm going to let everybody know that Gene's coming to that top lane in just a second after we take out this core fish here. 
And now we're gonna roll over there. I'm coming. Let me say it again. Jeans is coming, so be prepared to fight. Be prepared to fight because I'm gonna have my sludge bomb. I'm gonna be level five. I'm gonna be an Ivysaur. And Pikachu just gotta kill. I should actually hit to that bot lane, but we are already here. I don't feel like wasting time going over to the other side. And they're gonna push up here. We're just gonna tee off on these guys. Yo, now you guys wanna push up. Now you guys should push up. Let's look at that. There's a kill. Let's get this thing out of here. And now we get score. Now we get score. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. Bees are about to spawn, which is perfect timing. Now we can take out the bees. We can roll after these guys. Get all that XP. And we just chomped on them. And why is our whole team here? Why is our whole team here? I'm coming. Don't worry, Talon Claim. Or whoever's in the bottom lane. I'm coming. Why is our whole team there? Like, what are we doing? I thought we were working good here. I thought we were doing good. <laughs> but I actually want to head to this. Uh, oh, we, there's a Talon Flame here. I would like to get a little bit of help here. I might have to check button back here. Oh, he had check buttons too. That's fine. I'm gonna head to this uh, central lane. I'll be in the bottom lane in a second. I just think I need our levels. I could actually pinch this talent flame here. I'm out of here. There we go. Okay, so we pinched the talent flame. That was beautiful. Now I can tee off on these things. Try to get my next level. And once I get my next level, we will get a uh, solar beam. Right? That says that when we get solar beam. I believe it is. Yes, sir. So solar beam is here. We're gonna be able to do some big old damage, and I should go help out that bottom lane. We should definitely go help out that bottom lane, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. Is get over there and help out that bottom lane. First of all, let's get the Scorefish out of the way. Get him out of here. All right, so Scorefish dead. We still have a score bunny, bro. I don't like that one bit. How's our squad doing? I'll let him get that kill. He can evolve. And we'll go see what's happening over here. We shall see what's happening over here. Oh, there's a Pikachu here. You son of a biscuit. Get out of here. Get him out of here. Yo, hit him up. Push out of my jack button. Oh, that works. That works. Let's see if I can score these 29. Because if I can score these 29, that's huge. The score button, he's like, score your points, man. There you go. He's going to die here. Yep, he's dead. We saw that coming from a mile away. Let's see if I can hit that thing with a solar beam. We miss. And this thing is the same level as me. So I really don't want to. Really don't want to mess with it too much. If I can just solar beam. And take out. Do some damage. And he's going to try to get on me. I'm coming. I'm coming. Don't worry. Let's see if I can hit this thing with a whip. There you go. Hitting things with a whip just like pushes them back. Just lets them know that, hey, yo. It's like, okay, I'm not messing with you. When you get hit by a whip, it does so much damage. But Pikachu is teen off over here. Let's see if I can throw a sludge bomb right here. He's going to come after me. I'm just going to go here, and I am going to pop my ult here. And my ult actually dodged his ult, which was phenomenal. And we should be able to, I'm thinking, get that. Yeah, we got Dreadnought, which is huge. He's going to dip out here. I'm going to solar beam, try time that right, and we missed it. We missed their solar beam there. Yo, we got back off to our million. Actually, no, we don't. Throw this here. Solar beam on you. He's gonna dip back, and while he's dipping, I'm gonna score my points. And now we gonna dip back. Throw this over there, and keep chilling here. And this is not looking good for us. Well, my teammates. I played back a little bit, which is good, but I'm still dead, aren't I? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Jeans here. Jeans here. Let me slow you down. Get out of here, baby. Yeah, push me. Push me towards my tower. Push me towards my tower. How we just miss that solar beam? <laughs> this is why I didn't play rank. This is why I didn't play rank. But this is a solid battle here. We're playing super well. I'm just going to head over to this top lane now. Let everybody know. I see that there's a Pikachu scoring over there, but there's really nothing we can do now. So, we'll just let that happen. We'll, we'll let the Cinerace do it. Actually, you know what? I'm pinching him. I'm pinching this Pikachu. I don't want this Pikachu here. And there's a Sylveon here, so let's get over here. Let's get it in with the action. So, you down. Bop you with that. And we're just going to tee off on you. Come here. Let me tell you something. I'll set over to you. Oh, he's going to ult. He's going to ult and go back. That's fine. That is fine. Now I'm going to head to that top path. Jeans is heading to the... Um, I want to head to the top path, but at the same time, like, look at all these enemies over here. Let's slow you down here. This thing ulted wrong way. That's good. And he's pushing our... Oh, jeez, man. He's pushing our... What's it called? Let's see if I can hit him with that. Oh, yo, look at that snipe. Get out of here. Let's do some damage. Yo, Cinerys, can you come out here? Cinerys, can you come out here? C Cinerys, if you come out here... Oh, no, he went back to base. I was waiting for him, yo. We had that. If I can solar beam onto him. Look at that damage, dude. I'm just teeing off with those. Let me get some health. I'm going to say, yo, let's head to the bottom lane. Let's try to get this Dreadnought rocking. Let that Greninja have that stuff in that central lane. That's fine by me. Grab a Citrus Berry, and I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to roll. I have my ult. I know the Talon Flame doesn't have his ult. That's going to be big for us. And I'm going to just start throwing these Sludge Bombs on this thing. Try to get this last hit. Yo, let's go. Run it. Run it. There is a Greninja up here. But I'm going to try to pinch him. Where's that Greninja at? There you are. See if I can hit him with this. Get him out of here, sir. Someone hit him. I wish I had my eject button. I'm going to alt here. Yep. Solar beam him. Get him out of here. And we're going to get this treadmill. 
Let's go. Let's get this dreadnought right here, right now. See off on that. I am going to push all these fools back with the solar beam right here. Oh, look at that damage, baby. Get out of here. Big KO from Zorora. They're pushing it back, and we should have Dreadnought on lock there. Beautiful. Beautiful plays by us to actually just secure that Dreadnought and get that uh, XP. That's just good all around. But now I definitely kind of want to head into that central lane. More so, I just want to farm up these core fish, get my next level, and roll from there. Take you out, and then take you out. We thriving. Let's roll. All right. So we are now level 12. I would like to be level 13 by the time Dreadnought does spawn. Well, not Dreadnought, but uh, by the time Zapdos does spawn. Let's see how we're doing, though. Three and six, yo, I'm loving it. I think we're playing super well right now. Throw us over there. You know, I love I love this solar beam though. It's so much fun to use. Like pedal dance and giga drain definitely very strong. But dude, this one's just a lot more fun to just mess around with and just play some Pokemon Unite with. Yeah, where do you think you're going, buddy? Yeah, there's a lot of dudes here. Oh, that's our Grand Ninja. And can we kill this thing? We're going to eject button back. I might die. Okay, cool. We're chilling. We are chilling. That's lovely. Is that their Grand Ninja over there? Just whipping up. I am going to steal this uh, Vespa Queen. <laughs> but I do need uh, HP here, so I'm just going to chill in her tower for a little bit. I am going to take out this Aldino over here. See if I can lower her a little bit more towards my tower. As I get HP and stuff and things. Take you out. And they're, they're scoring some points. Alright, it's all good. It's a close battle. I guess I'll head to this, uh, this bot lane. See if I can get some kills. But I would love to get an extra level here. Where's this Talonflame at? Talonflame is going towards my tower. He's probably just going to fly away. I am going to hit him with some big damage. E! He's level 14! Get him out of here! Get him out of here! Did I get him? I sniped him. Okay, cool. Drop that on you. And now we solar beam. Beautiful. You're dead. And we could... I was thinking about melting this uh, Dreadnought, but I don't think there's enough time. I think we just get our levels up. But yo, that Town Flame, strong level. He just ulted, so he might not have his ult ready to go for that... Uh, or what's it called? Or zap this. But Cinderace is going to score here. Should be able to score. Put some points on the board. I'll take you guys out. Let's see if I can score. I might go for some points here. I can score this, uh... I can score this 50. Nope. That's all I coming all day. And I'm dead, aren't I? Did I ult? I'm not going to ult. Put a eject button out here. I'm just going to toss this on that. Take you out. And we are thriving here. Solar Beam you just to keep you back a little bit. And I need HP. I need HP. I do have my ult, so... Let's just chill in the bush. Good thing I didn't send my ult. I really didn't want to send it. Because, you know, Zapdos is about to spawn, and I would rather have it to fight the Zapdos and fight the team fight that's about to happen. So, I'm just going to toss this Sludge Bomb over on this thing. Let's see if I can hit that Greninja from here. I did. And now I'm going to ult. No! No! Dude, if I would have got my ult out, I was mashing it, and I just got murked. Come on, team. You got this team? You got this team? Show it to me. Ah! Oh, my God. We're going to lose now. I'll take this one. I think I'll take Actually, I don't know if I should take that one. I was about to ult, and I died. And if I would have ulted, that probably would have won us the battle. Because I would have still been alive. I would have given shields to my teammate, and I would have did a massive amount of damage here. Let's see if I can at least get a kill before we roll out here. This thing is going to ult. And I'm going to see if I can actually ult on him. Come here. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Come here. I want to fight all you guys. Oh! Not not that many. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, level 15 tower flame, just 230. But yo, not a bad battle for us. 4 and 10, I feel like we dominate that whole battle besides the Zapdos. We got all the Dreadnoughts. I feel like I probably should have played a bit more central lane and farmed up the enemies. But I got a little bit too greedy with the kills and just playing in the bottom lane. Definitely should have just chilled in the central lane. Got my levels up. And then go poke at the Dreadnought. We did get both Dreadnought kills. but So we're going to end up losing here, which is really rough. Which is really rough. But yo, dude, town flame is just a force to be reckoned with. I will vote to surrender. I will vote as I know it's over. Maybe I can snipe a little bit more. Well, let's see who else votes. We might just be here for 24 seconds whipping up on some old Dinos. <laughs> but yeah, solid video. Solid video. I always love recording Pokemon Unite for you guys. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the Pokemon Unite content. If you guys do, hey, yo, chill on me. If you guys do enjoy the uh, Pokemon Unite content, make sure you uh, hit that like button on today's video. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. It really does go a long way. But pretty fairly close battle. It really did just come down to Zapdos. 337 to 558, I think it said. And now let's see how everybody did as a whole. I did pretty solid. Assists with 10, right? 11 assists. 11 assists. 60 points. Was not MVP. It was MVP. Okay, Cinderace was 6 and 8. I'll give it to him all day. But, yo, Talonflame on the other team definitely ripped it up going 10 and 9. I definitely should make a video on Talonflame. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would like to see that. Before we do finish off today's video, I have nine of these energy rewards, and I really want to try to get this uh, this Garchomp skin. He's the only one that I don't have, so we're going to rip it up here. Look to get it here. Hopefully get it. If not, hopefully we get another skin just so we get the uh, the fashion wear points or the hollow wear points, whatever they're called. 
But come on, give me the Garchomp skin. Oh, we got the Talon Flame one. I already have that. But they should be converted. Or do I not have that one? Unless it will say it's going to be converted. Let's see. Let's see what it says. It's owned. Yeah, they're converted into those 88 of those points. So we could actually buy the uh, the Garchomp one. We could buy the Garchomp one if we want to. I'm definitely going to check out the shop after that. But hopefully we can just pull it. Elder Gall set. A little bit of shoes. And okay, cool. Some item enhancers. I love the item enhancer. All right. Let's go into that item shop real quick. Let's go into that shop. I, I want to see if I can. I can definitely buy it because I got this uh, Berry Strong So I have some left over. But I don't think I want to buy it. I don't think I want to buy it considering it's just like I can uh I can get it for free. Let's see if there's any cool ones. But yo, dude, I love this skin so much. Look at that thing. That one's so tough. This one's tough too. This new Elder Gloss one, the ribbon one, and this really tough one's really cool. I really do like all the skins that they're coming out with. But I want to go to the Hallware Ticket Exchange and see what we can get from here. We have 138, and this one's 60, so I could just buy the Garchomp one. But nothing too too cool here. I mean, Charizard ones are pretty dope. If I want to get one, or Pikachu one would be cool. But I have a cooler Pikachu one. But that's all good. I think I'll just try to get this Garchomp one in the Energy Wards like it's supposed to be. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.